Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Boy out of my boots, huh? Hop in the whip and go room. Nigga thought down go boom. I won't even break a sweat. I'm gonna just call him my So as you can see, I've already put myself through this workout. I'm really tired, but I'm feeling great. So here I have a very requested video for you guys, and that is my workout routine, what I do to stay fit. This is definitely the best workout I could offer to you guys for a start. This is a full body fat burning workout, and I mean, I like burning fat, and this is great cardio, and it's just a workout that's great for everyone because there's so many different versions of each move. So you can be a beginner just getting into working out, or you can be more advanced. I'm going to be showing you guys one round of this whole circuit of moves, which is a whole nine moves, but I will have the whole workout down below in the description box. So you guys can even pick three moves from one set and just do that. You can do it one, two, three times. Start wherever you want. I usually do three rounds of all nine moves, but this is an off day for me and this is more of an instructional video. So I just wanna show you guys how to do each move so you guys are clear. If you have any questions, please make sure to leave them down below. I'm here to help. I want you guys to feel comfortable with what you're doing. And yeah, without further ado, let's just get into the video. Okay guys, so for the first round, we're gonna start with three moves. There's an A, B, and C round. So first we're going to start with crossovers. You're just gonna need a medicine ball. You could even just get a box, whatever you have, a stool. You can do this with so many different things. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to get on your ball, you're gonna hold a plank, and you're gonna go over to one side, you're gonna come up, come to the other side. Up, just like that. If you are more advanced, you can add push-ups, which is what I'm going to be doing. This ball is huge, which isn't very convenient for the push-ups, so I'm gonna get this little six pound ball, and we're going to be doing 10 crossovers. If you can't do 10, try to do five or six, it's fine. that we're going to be doing for our A round is a fold up, or you can do the more advanced move, which is a V up, which I did in gymnastics all the time. But for the easier move, you're just going to put your hands right here, put them behind your back and lay them flat. Then you're just going to lift your feet off the ground and you're gonna open up and close. Open and close. So that's too easy for you. You can lift up your hands and bring them in front of you. Then you can go down, up. If that's easy for you, you can lay on your back, you can bring up your legs, and you can reach up to your toes like this. Once you've gone through all of those moves, you can move on to the via, which is what I'm going to be doing. Your goal is to get 20 of those, so that's what I'm going to be doing next. Last move for our A round, we're going to be doing skaters. So for skaters, your goal is to get from one side of your mat to the other. There's different versions for this move too. Basically what you're doing is you're gonna pop to one side, bring your foot down, and you're gonna pop to the other. Pop to one side and pop to the other. You are going to be doing 20 of these. If you wanna go a little more advanced, just make sure your foot stays on the inside of your other foot and doesn't go back behind you. And also you can try to touch your foot with the opposite hand which makes things a little tougher. Make sure to not follow your feet with your eyes because that puts you off balance and it's just gonna make things a lot tougher. For our B round, we have three different moves that we haven't done yet. So the first one that we have are jump switches. The goal of a jump switch is to jump up as high as you can. There's different things you can do with your arms if you want something a little easier or you wanna go tougher. But basically, this is a jump switch. You're going to start down here. Make sure your knee does not hit the ground because first of all, it's gonna hurt. Second of all, that's just not how you do the move. You're just gonna be like, and you're going to alternate sides. So that would probably be the easiest version of the jump switch. If you're feeling extra strong, you can bring your hands behind your head in a butterfly position, and you can do the same thing. Anytime that your arms are raised away from your body, it's going to work your core more because you're going to be off balance and it's going to make your core work harder. So you can put your hands behind your head and you can do the same thing. So personally, what I do during my workouts, I use weights for this move. I just have 15s here with me today, and you're just going to keep them by your side. 
If you focus on one spot in front of you, it's going to help you balance and make things easier. Your goal is to get 20 of these, but if you can't get 20, that's totally fine. Do 10, a little less than that, whatever's best for you. Also, during a jump switch, you're going to want to make sure your body is upright. You don't want to be falling into your jump squat like this. So for our second move of the B round, we are going to be doing a V-sit twist. So basically for this move, you're just going to sit on your bottom and you're gonna bring your legs up. You're just going to bring your hands side to side. Try to bring your whole core with the move. It's gonna make everything work harder and you're gonna get more out of it. You're just going like this. If that's too easy for you, you can add weight. I'm going to be using this medicine ball. You're gonna get your ball and you just, you're just gonna make sure it taps the ground. Not bouncing because that's cheating. So make sure if you're using a medicine ball, it just lightly touches the ground. We're going to be doing 20 of these. If you can't do 20, that's totally fine. You can do a lower number, like 10. So for our last move for the B round, we're going to be doing clappers. And a clapper is basically a push-up with a clap. If this is way beyond your level at the moment, just do regular push-ups. If a push-up is too much for you at the moment, do push-ups on your knees. It's still a push-up. Just make sure you stay in a nice hollow position and you don't arch your back like this because this is not a push-up. You need to make sure you are tightening your core and keeping everything firm while doing a push-up. So this is what a clapper looks like. If that's too tough for you, like I said, you can do these on your knees. My knees are slipping. We are going to be doing 10 of these. If you can't finish off with clappers, that's okay. But if you can do clappers, go ahead and start with them and you can finish off with a regular push-up. So now we have our last round for this set. We're going to start this round off with burpees. Basically for a burpee, there are many different versions of a burpee as well. So we're gonna start off with the easiest one. You're just going to bring your hands down, bring your feet out, and stand back up. But let's be real here, we're not 80 years old and I know you can do more than that. So the next version of a burpee, you do this. If that's too easy for you, you can add a jump to this move. That's what this looks like. Also, keep your arms down while jumping. As you can see, I'm jumping high because I'm trying to get the most out of a burpee that I can. But the next version we have is adding a push-up. This is what that looks like. Basically, your goal with a burpee, if you're going to be adding a push-up, you want to do the push-up as soon as you hit the ground to just keep the momentum going. It's really just more of a springy movement rather than actually doing a full-on push-up for every burpee. So for the most advanced version of a burpee that I have for you guys today is with a ball, and that's what this looks like. A lot of the guys in my group will add a push-up with the ball to this move. That's a little above my level right now, so I just stick with doing the plank on the ball. And we are going to be doing 10 of these. We call them superheroes and you're just going to lay on your stomach and you're going to make sure the balls of your feet are hooked onto the ground Then you're just going to bring your hands on the back of your head and make sure you stay looking at the ground You don't want to put your head up like this Because you're just gonna go down and up as high as you can You're really gonna feel this in your lower back Your goal is to get 20 of these but if you can't do 20 just do 10 or whatever works best for you Not as easy as it looks. So for our last move of round C, we're going to be doing jump squats. I know, everyone's favorite. But pretty much all know what a jump squat looks like for the most part. You're just going to go into your squat. Don't go super low, this is gonna mess up your knees like crazy, and you're not gonna get much out of it. You can put your hands in different places for this move. You can put them on your hips. You can put them behind your head. Or you can even use your arms to help you get up, which I would recommend. So if this is too easy for you, you can add weight. You can hold a medicine ball, hold it right in your chest, and do 
do the same thing with the medicine ball. I personally use weights for this move. And you're just going to hold the weights and keep them by your side. Also, make sure your feet are shoulder width apart. You don't want them all the way up here and you don't want them right here. And you're going to be doing 20 of these. If you can't do 20, once again, just find the number that works best for you. But make sure to push yourself and don't just stick to something that's way too easy if you actually want to get results from this workout. One tip I want to put in about the jump squats. I know you see girls doing workout videos on Instagram and their ass is totally right in your face, completely arching their back. Don't do that, ladies. You're going to kill yourself. This is not right. Make sure that when you do a jump squat or any squat, this took me a while to learn and I'm still working on it. Make sure your body is tucked. Okay, so not like this, your body's tough. Okay guys, so there you have it. I have showed you guys the three different sets of moves. Once again, I will have it all in the description box. If you wanna just pick one set of three and do that three times, go ahead. Or if you wanna do this whole workout that I just showed you and do one round, that's fine. If you wanna do two, that's great. If you wanna do three, that's great. Me personally, I usually do three of these. I also wanted to say, make sure you're not taking like five minute breaks in between each working round because the more consistent you are, the more fat you're gonna burn. But yeah guys, that is it for this video. This has been requested for a while and I really hope you guys got what you wanted out of this video. If you have any questions, totally leave them down below. That's what I'm here for. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new here and you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure to do so. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! I don't think they understand Sally